Well, this week marks the 30 year anniversary of Hurricane Bob. The storm tore through New England, causing billions of dollars of damage. Eric Fisher recaps. The dog days of August 1991 were violently interrupted when the most powerful hurricane in decades reached the shores of New England. Brewing first in the Bahamas and quickly accelerating northward, the eye of Category 2 Hurricane Bob crossed directly over Block Island on August 19th. More landfalls would follow in Newport, Rhode Island and Rockport, Maine. Now, slow, grinding tropical systems can produce widespread flooding, but with Bob, it was all about the sheer power of wind and storm surge. Cape Cod and the islands were positioned to absorb the worst of it. Thousands evacuated, leading to an 11 mile backup at the Sagamore Bridge. Gusts, they howled at 125 miles per hour, clocked in Brewster and North Truro, and sustained winds of 100 miles per hour were found in Provincetown. The entirety of Cape Cod was without power and left in the dark. A storm surge 10 to 15 feet was shoved into Buzzards Bay. Onset, Bourne, and Wareham were severely inundated by the rush of water. Dozens of homes were wiped out from Mattapoiset to Falmouth. In Mashpee, a 40-foot wide channel cut through Pompaness at Spit, and the Toby Island Bridge was destroyed in Bourne. It's the most severe hurricane on the island since Carol and Edna in 54. The south-facing shores of Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard lost dozens of feet of shoreline due to the erosion. Hundreds of boats were washed up or destroyed. A fast forward speed allowed the worst of Bob to race through in just over an hour. The damage would take weeks to pick up and leave a price tag of over $1 billion. Bob was unique. That was the earliest hurricane that had ever hit New England, blowing through during tourist season. A lot of summer complacency surrounded the storm, with many not even realizing how bad it was going to be until the day it arrived. It's also the ultimate example of it only takes one. No other hurricanes made landfall in the U.S. that year.